Hey everyone, welcome to Today's Log Life. I'm May, and this is my first impression video of the Jumping Jack Drawstring Backpack. Now it's like maybe 1.5, like my, you know, one and a half initial, I don't know how, how to put this, like I've seen it, I kind of knew what it was, but never really looked at the details. So um, in the last video I put out, it was just me looking at all the different sort of new Sorry, I got creeped out because suddenly someone was talking behind me <laughs> and I don't know, I must have said something that triggered Siri on my iPad, which is sitting like way at the other end of the room <laughs> and it started talking to me and it scared the crap out of me. I actually couldn't breathe for about three seconds <laughs> because suddenly there was a woman behind me. <laughs> I don't know if you could hear it, but I could and it scared the crap out of me. Oh, okay, I think I'll be fine. Um, okay, I probably should have just stopped this video and re-record, but I'm just too lazy. So anyways, I don't even know what I said that triggered Siri to start talking to me. But anyway, and usually I don't have my volume up on my iPad. Uh, for some reason I do today, it started talking to me. Oh my God. Okay, at least it wasn't a man's voice. I think that would have scared me more. I probably would have peed my pants if I heard a man's voice behind me because I'm actually alone in my house right now. So if I had... If I heard like a man's voice behind me, I, yeah, I would have probably had a heart attack and that would have, yeah, it would have ended badly. Okay, anyways, back to the Jumping Jack drawstring backpack. I don't even know what I was saying before Siri went off behind me. Um, so, uh, anyway, so... Uh, yeah, so I think I was saying if, if you'd watch my previous video where I was just talking about all the new uh, things that were just put onto the Lug website that used to be only exclu exclusively sold. I can't say that word. Exclusively sold on Lug Live. They just dumped a whole bunch of things onto their website. So I just kind of quickly ran through all of them, looked at all the colors. But there's a few items that I never actually looked at. So I am not a Lug Live watcher. So when they introduced these items for the first time, I just went... Yeah, okay, it doesn't look like anything I need, move on. So um, I just wanna look at this one a little bit more because when I looked at them on my big screen, because usually I only look at them on my phone, I can't see the little details. And when I, when I when I tune into the shows, I don't have the volume up, so I have no idea what they're saying. And it's kind of grainy and it's really small and I can't really see. But then when, when I actually saw this on my larger computer screen, I it looked like there's this pocket in the front, which I didn't know. I thought it was truly, truly just like a, um, like, you know, those cheap little drawstring bags that, you know, kids used to carry their gym clothes in. Um, like it was just like that cheapy nylon stuff, um, with that rope, uh, you know, as, as the strap. So I thought it was like that. I truly didn't, I mean, I guess I should have known that lug was going to put its, you know, it's, it's, it's fingerprints all over it and turn it into a lug bag but for some reason like when I again when I saw the tiny little bit of a video when they first introduced it for me just to be able to say yay or nay on it and whether I should tune in and really turn up the volume and watch it or whether I go nah I don't need it and move on and just tr turn off the, the app um it didn't look like anything that I was going to need it looked like a regular drawstring backpack so I moved on um but it, it's got this pocket which I didn't know and it's got this little top handle which I also didn't see and I also didn't see the quilting until I saw it on the big screen so we'll just take a look at the colors again super super fast I'm going to really go through them fast um so you got the uh coral you got the lime green because again if you're watching this in the future and you didn't watch my previous video you're not you didn't get the the big uh color tour uh so magenta Sky blue, violet, which is a true purple. And by the way, this coral, it's just orange. I don't know why they called it coral. Uh, I've been told it's orange. So anyway, actually, that would be really cute. Like if you had like, like if you wanted to wear this in the fall or if you wanted to wear this like trick-or-treating, like this would be a fun trick-or-treating bag. Uh, especially if you put like little, like a little, I don't know, you stuck some like stickers on with like pumpkin face, like a jack-o'-lantern face. Just saying. Um... I got I got Halloween on the brain right now. So uh, yellow, crimson, large dot, very cute. Firework navy, an old print that has come back. Flamingo blue, which I love. I might have to get that one. Oh my god, that's so cute. Okay, heather gray, very good and gender neutral. Although less gender neutral with that quilting on the bottom. That's not very masculine. Just saying, because um, I would have definitely gotten that for a dude, but that is a basket weave thing that I know a lot of guys are just not cool with. Um, I just wish guys would get over sort of, you know, wearing things that are quote feminine and somehow that like, you know, destroys who they are as a guy. 
Um, but I mean, like my guy also wouldn't wear this and he's incredibly secure with his masculinity. Um, and he's definitely been known to wear like bright colors. Like he, like in the eighties, he wore neon colors. Like that was his thing. He still has a few neon things that I kind of wish he'd get rid of because it screams 1989. Um, but anyways, so, but yeah, like if I wanted to give that to like a real like masculine guy, uh, he's going to be like, what the heck is all this about? Why is, you know, why is it all fancy and pretty? Uh, and same with the black, it's going to have that quilting. So a few guys probably will, but there are some guys who never will. Um, and then Paws Navy, which is always adorable and sand taupe. Okay. So let's just quickly do a quick look around. So let's just do a little, uh, photo visual look-see and, uh, oh, Oh, hang on. See, I did not know it had a side pocket. Oh, did not know that. See, these are the kinds of things I didn't know that they had when I was just looking at the apps in the, or in the early days. So that's all I expected. I thought it was just going to be exactly that. I never noticed that it had a little top handle, which is amazing. Anything with a top handle, I'm like, oh, awesome. <gasps> oh, and it's got like a nice interior. Okay. See, I was under the impression that this was like the outside was the same as the inside. I didn't know it was that nice. So they actually went out of their way to put like a lug interior. Really cool. So there's that little side pocket. Is it fleece lined? It looks like it's fleece lined. So they actually like put really nice lug details in this. I wonder how big that is. I kind of really wish that lug would put measurements of their pockets into the measurements description because it's one thing to know how big, oh, wait a minute, look, there's organization in this pocket. I thought it was just a front pocket as well. So, because just the fact that it had a front pocket, I was like, that's amazing. The fact that it had a top handle, I was like, okay, that's really, really cool. Um, but this actually has organization. Love it. Does the interior of it have organization or no? I don't think it did. They didn't mention that. And it didn't look like it did. Like there's no like clear view pocket. There's no privacy pocket, I don't think. There's no key bungee. Uh, probably not. Okay. Which is fine. I don't expect it to. I didn't expect to have any of these. Um, but that's what I thought it was, which is why I sort of totally like went, nah, I don't need this. I don't need a drawstring bag. I have other bags. But you know what? There's a place for a drawstring bag like this. And I gotta tell you, um, I'm kind of, uh, okay. So I used to have like a dance school. Um, I'm a dance teacher. Um, and I used to teach kids in it and I still have a dance school, but it's all adults only now. Um, but I actually used to teach kids. Um, and when I was looking to st like, I, I, but basically when they registered, I was really hoping to be able to give them something that was going to have like my studio logo on it so that everyone had like an essential thing that you would need if you are going to register to take classes. And one of them was a dance bag. And I was looking for something exactly like this. But I remember when I was looking at drawstring bags, they were all that cheapy, like crinkly, loud nylon, you know, really thin, like I said, loud. Like, so when you, when you, when you crunch it, it would like make that like crackly noise. Um, it would, it would look really wrinkled, you know, pretty easily. Um, and, uh, but yeah, it had like the rope, uh, on the, uh, as a backpack or sometimes it was just a rope, like just, like, so it was almost like a sling bag. So you can kind of wear it crossbody. Um, they didn't have the top handles. Sometimes they would have like a, like a, like a nice little toggle that you could use so that that would be the, like, so you could, you know, sort of hang, how do I put this? Like they would have two, they would have like the toggle where you could actually pull the drawstring. And then there was another little sort of little thing at the top. So it was like almost like another little loop at the top. So you could use that to hang stuff, but it was not like an actual top handle like that. So, and it didn't have anything exciting on it. It was, not, it was just an interior, but I was trying to get things like this because I wanted something a little bit nicer because sometimes I had like, you know, 10 year olds and 12 year olds where, you know, a cheap little thing wouldn't be enough. They would, you know, I wanted them to be able to basically have a kid who, you know, cause most of the time the parents would just drop them off, shove them in the door and leave. <laughs> and I wanted them to have like their own backpack or their own little bag they could bring in so they could bring their shoes. They could bring like a little sweater or a snack or a water bottle, um, like maybe extra hair elastics and a hairbrush in case their hair came down, that kind of thing, tissues, whatever it was that they needed. Um, because so often I'm like, where are your shoes? I don't have them. Well, they sh you should have a dance bag <laughs> and you should bring the dance bag with you and you're responsible for that. And it was something I was really trying to teach my kids and I would have died 
if this was a bag that was in existence. Like if I knew that, you know, like if, if, if there was a bag like this, I would have bought these for all of my kids, had like my logo embroidered or whatever it is onto that front pocket. Like look at how much space you've got there. You could embroider a really good logo onto there. <gasps> now I'm regretting this. Well, maybe I can still do it for my adults. Hmm. Well, my school colors are teal and there's really nothing here, but I guess I could use that maybe, or use the black and put white on it. <gasps> hmm. These, these aren't really cheap though. These would be very expensive. And if I suddenly put an embroidery thing on it, it would suddenly really, really make it expensive. Unfortunately, there's nothing here that really matches my school colors, but maybe I just say, you know, like I have a couple done in every single color, or maybe like I do a custom order and say, you have to choose your color and then this will be the embroidery that they put on it. So like maybe this one will be white. This one would be black embroidery. This one would be white. Would be kind of fun. The sky blue. I mean, like, I guess it'd be black because they all have, you know, the black detail on the, on the rope, but like, yeah, like maybe you could choose whatever you want and I could just sew the logo on. So anyways, I just, I'm sorry, I'm brainstorming because this actually would be a really cute bag. Although I think adults would want to carry more, but when I had kids, this would have been the perfect bag. So anyways, yeah, like it looks like you could have easily put like a little sweater in there, uh, maybe a change of clothes. So you could put your pants and a little sweatshirt in there. Plus you could have like the kids who are carrying cell phones, they could, or their, you know, whatever, their little tech, um, little hairbrush. You can put your, uh, uh, you know, your hair elastics and your, you know, button making stuff, your hair pins, bobby pins. Um, and then, yeah, and then you still have a room for other stuff. Um, a water bottle, like amazing. I, I'm so upset that this bag didn't come into my life, whatever it was, five, six years ago when I was, well, actually it was longer than that now. It was probably like 11, 12 years ago that I was looking for something like this. Um, but I continued to look up until about five, six years ago when I finally closed down the kid part of my school. Um, but yeah, I love this bag. Oh my gosh. I love this so much more. And look at how much, look, they can actually, so it looks like you've got some coil notebooks and those are some, um, some, what are they called? Seesaws. So it looks like you can fit two in there. That's a bobsled. Ugh. Okay. You know what? For $50, that's a really great little, you know, bag just to kind of throw some necessities in that you can use either as a shoulder bag or as a backpack. I actually love this bag so much more than I expected I would. And it's $50. Uh, it's expensive, but it's not. I mean, I think that's actually, you know what? I think this is actually a reasonably priced bag. It's not too expensive. It's got a lot of details considering what it is. Um, it's kind of great. I kind of want to feel it. Now, can, is anybody have one of these? If you have one of these, can you let me know in the comments what it, is it quilted at all? Like, is there any kind of, is it a little bit quilted at all except for the bottom? Cause I mean, obviously there's a little bit of quilting here, but like, is like that front pocket a bit quilted? Is it just that nylon? I'm just curious. Um, I may have to buy one of these. I'm really hoping they really go on sale one day. Um, and I might get it for just for fun. I don't even know what I would use it for though. That's the only problem because this is probably not a bag I would actually use myself. If I wanted a bag like this, I would probably carry something else, but I don't know. I just kind of like it. Mm. But, and again, I can't even get it for like a guy, um, because it's a little, it's a little too feminine down here. So I don't really know who I'd get this for, but man, oh man, <sighs> I really wish I'd seen this, like I said, 10 years ago. Um, cause this would have been the bag that I gave to all of my students, like when they register. So when they pay the registration fee, I would have given this as part of their like introductory sort of like welcome package. And there would have been my logo on it. And maybe I would have thrown in like a water bottle or a hairbrush or something in one of the pockets. And then that's their welcome package. And I'm so sad that I don't have that need anymore because this is exactly, exactly, exactly what I was looking for 10 years ago. <laughs> So this product came out 10 years too late. Damn you, Lug. <laughs> That's all I can say. How dare you bring this out now when I don't need it. <laughs> but if they ever came out like in a teal, like that contemporary teal, um, maybe even Kelly Green I could have gotten away with. But oh, this would have been the perfect bag. And I'm so upset that I'm seeing this now. Ugh. Okay. 
Anyways, there you go. That's just me and my regret <laughs> speaking. Uh, you're hearing me think out loud. Obviously, these are my first impression videos. So you're going to hear me unedited saying all sorts of random stuff. So, and you're just going to hear my thoughts as they come. So I apologize, but I also, yeah, I mean, hey, this is what you paid for, right? <laughs> you knew that I rambled and you knew that I'd just kind of go on. So I am very, very sad, but you know what? You never know. Maybe in the future I will have a need for this. But, uh, and for anybody who actually does have you know, a need to sew a logo onto something. That's a really, really good surface to put a, a nice logo. So just saying. All right. That's my first impression, I guess, sort of, of this bag. Because, yeah, as it turns out, I actually knew nothing about this bag at all. Um, lots of surprises for me to see today. So there it is. That is the Jumping Jack Drawstring Backpack. Love it. So much better than I expected it was going to be. I really thought it was going to be a, a, you know, sort of a cheapy little bag with maybe like that front pocket. And that was it. Um, but even though I didn't even think, I thought that was going to be so much smaller. I didn't know it was going to have organization. I thought it was going to be like a cheapy nylon. My God, I, I guess I should know better than to think that Lug is going to come up with something totally, totally, totally crappy. So please let me know in the comments if you have this bag, if you bought it, if you like it, who's using it in your, in your family or in your world. Um, do you like it? Is it, is it, does it, is it worth the price? Does it look like it's well made? Um, you know, how does it function? Are the straps comfortable? Like once you start packing it, can you, you know, do you feel like the, the straps start digging into you? Like, I would love to know these things. So uh, if you have any of that information, please put that in the comments below so that we can all hear what you have to say. Um, and tell me what colors you got as well and how many you got. Like, did you got more than one of these? Because it's actually a pretty decent price. Um, yeah, I kind of like this way more than I expected. So there it is. That's it. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you next time.